Welcome to Hana Talks Live TV. I'm Hana Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Whenever I run a video conversation in my head, I know I have got to come out here and share it with you. There will be some people that need to hear this message this morning, and there will be people that don't get it. But here's what I want to tell you. I work with my clients on understanding, I've got to get out of that sun, sorry, understanding that, hi Juan, that you can have a better quality of life whether anything changes in your life or not. Now, how do you do that? You may be sick, not well in your body. It feel, your body hurts. You may have illness. You may not have enough money every month. Ilana, hi. You, don't just, doesn't it sound like I'm in the tropics? <laughs> you may, hi Rhea, you may, um, your guy just left, it ended. You hate your job. And you feel pretty bad. Things are just bad right now for you. And, you know, what are you going to do about it? You feel horrible. You want things to change. And how do you do that, right? If your body hurts, you're worried. If you're sick, you're worried. If you don't have enough money, you're scared. If you don't have your guy, it just ended, you're lonely. And if you hate your job, you could have some anger around that, as well as frustration. So what are you supposed to do? I'm telling you that you can feel better whether anything changes in your life. How do you do that? The key is to learn how to find better thoughts in your present moments, right? You can't have and not have. You can't um, try, hi David, you can't try to allow and disallow at the same time. So what do you do? You've got to learn that in the moment, that how to train your mind to think better, different, more empowering thoughts. The first way to do that is to lift off of what you're, what's holding you down, right? Go take a walk. You might see a flower that's beautiful. Stare at it for a longer time. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel God's presence because he made that. Or source or universe, whoever it is for you. Um, what do you like to do? Do you like music? Play it. Dance to it. Do, do something that will lift you off of where you're at. You can't be in... Hannah, are you telling me that I should not look at my reality and go stare at a flower? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Exactly. Do you have a favorite show on TV? Go watch it. Binge watch it. The gift, one of the major gifts that we've been given is we can't think two thoughts at once. If I'm living in such fear of lack of money, and all I do is think about the lack of money, I'm going to just stay in the lack of money. Do you understand that when you're in that starting place, you can't go at any action you're going to take right now is going to attract that same negativity. If you're so upset that the guy left and you run out to start dating because you've got to be with a guy, that energy is what's going to go out there. That kind of desperate loneliness fill me up because he left. That's not the relationship that you want, but it won't get better until you lift off of that other stuff. Right? It's the same with the job. Stop being angry and writing resumes that have that anger stuck in it. <laughs> this is wooey. It might be wooey to some people, but I'm telling you the truth. Until you can lift off, lift your energetic vibration to a more positive, higher place, anything that you're going to go actively try to do and effort and control and manipulate to make happen isn't going to work because you're manipulating, efforting, 
and coming from this scared, lonely, angry, frustrated place. That's not the energy you want to go out and get the new stuff with. Kisuim, I'm sorry I don't read Hebrew and I can't take the time right now. Um, I'm just glad you're here and commenting. Thank you. I'll read the translation later. Um, it's where you're at now that is going to determine your next minute, your next now, because that's all you've got. There's never a problem in the now. You're listening to me. You're distracted. But if all you do is all day long you think about the guy that left and the rent that I don't have money for, and I have this thing on my skin and I'm so worried about it and you procrastinate going to the doctor and you're just so scared and oh, the job and you're just there with such anger and your boss is feeling it from you and so you're getting angry shots back from him. And do you see? Yes, go look at a flower. Go out and look up at the sky. When's the last time you did that? The weather is changing. Go walk barefoot on the ground. Connect to it. Walk on a damp, yummy lawn. It's the morning time for me. The grass is moist here. It's delicious. Did I walk barefoot on it this morning? Yes, coming here I did. Right? You've got... This is what I work with with my clients. These ideas that I'm throwing at you can change the quality of your day. And then you know what happens? One day... Or three hours later, you're going to say, wow, I didn't think about that for a few hours. And then one day you're going to wake up and realize, I didn't worry about that yesterday. Because you're in your present moment in a much more uplifting, energetic, vibrational stance. And it's changing everything for you. It's changing everything, even while you're still in the same job. The guy left, the new one hasn't showed up yet. Thank God, because until you change the energy, you'll get more of the same. Um, maybe you want him back. You have to be different, because he wouldn't have left if it was all okay, right? Think about what I'm telling you. This sounds so simple and so wooey, and so, some of you are thinking, oh, who is this woman energy? and stare at a flower and others of you were thinking you know maybe she's right for those of you that aren't tormenting yourself you keep coming to me and tormenting yourself about whether what I'm saying is true hi Barbara just join my Facebook group those of you that get me only those that get me why because I'm my ideal client and I want to work with me five the me five years ago that got here today an older single divorced woman in this you know this later stage of life um, who's happy right that's what I want I want you join you join my private Facebook group relationship mastery with confidence and dignity come on over there's more conversation on the other side those of you that are like, well, what is she talking about? And I don't know. And I'm so scared because what if she's right? And it could be different. And But what if it won't change because it's never changed for me? You're not ready for me yet. So just keep watching the videos. You'll get there. I've got to go. I love you. You are beautiful women. Join my private Facebook group. Type in your search box, Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity. I'll approve you and you will not believe what's going to happen to your life. You won't. How do I know? Because it happened to mine. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. See you soon. This is Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Bye.